Hi, I show you here today how to draw elephant skin with wrinkles. It's a part of my full animal portrait lesson in my drawing school animal art club. You can find the whole drawing lesson there. If you would like, you can join the waitlist in the link below in the description. And now let's dive in. And then here they are going into the belly and going upwards. We have here along our wrinkle and then the fine ones that are starting here and then they are making here a curve and going here over this edge of the, the lower part of the belly here. So then we have here another one and here one. There you have really to have a good look where all these uh, wrinkles are going. So here we have to follow the direction of them. I, I have to sharpen in the black for these fine details. So here, here is uh, the edge of the leg and then there are these wrinkles are going upwards. Here it's darker. And then here it's also darker. Plot in here a bit black and blend this part here. So also blend over this this um, thicker um, wrinkles here, we will blend them over all, but if they are gritty, you can blend over them right away, also here. So they are going here then, so upwards, some parts are a little bit deeper and darker, you can draw so fine curvy lines. And some parts are deeper here. Then press a little bit more along the lines. They are deeper. Then you can press a little bit mo more to bring in here that contrast for these deeper parts. So press and then reduce pressure. Press and reduce pressure. Press and reduce, press, 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 reduce, reduce, so that you have here always some so thicker uh, li wavy lines between. Here is one and here. And here the lines are then going to the left side. I make them here a bit more dense. Draw some strokes over this part. Okay. Then let's go uh, in here with more ochre colors. Let's make this part more yellowish. Let's go in the next with 183, the light yellow ochre and color this gray area a bit more yellowish. So let's go over here with, the, with a gentle pressure and bring in here the yellow ochre. We have to mix in here different colors. So first a layer with ochre. Be careful with your wrinkles. Draw between the, the black lines or also blend over them gently. Also here on the leg. Plot in here a bit of the, the yellow. Here downwards, a thin transparent layer. Just go over it here and mix the yellow here in. Also here I plot in a bit of the yellow ochre. And then let's also use the beige red a bit. So go also in with 132. And add a layer with the beige red, a transparent layer. 
bring it in here between very gently. I really don't press. Just add here a thin layer. Just add a layer with different colors. Here bring in a bit of the beige red of this flesh color. The gray is shining through a bit also here where we have this this larger parts between the wrinkles. Plot in here a bit of the beige red too. Here. Also here between where the lighter parts are between these wrinkles. And then here they are going into the belly and going upwards. We have here along our wrinkle. And then the fine ones that are starting here. And then they are making here a curve. And going here over this edge of the, the lower part of the belly here. So then we have here another one and here one. There you have really to have a good look where all these uh, wrinkles are going. So here we have to follow the direction of them. I, I have to sharpen in the black for these fine details. So here, here is uh, the edge of the leg and then there are these wrinkles are going upwards. Here it's darker. And then here it's also darker. Plot in here a bit of black and blend this part here. So also blend over this this um, thicker um, wrinkles here. We will blend then over all, but if they are gritty, you can blend over them right away. Also here. So they are going here then. So upwards, some parts are a little bit deeper and darker. You can draw so fine curvy lines. And some parts are deeper here. Then press a little bit more along the lines. They are deeper. Then you can press a little bit mo more to bring in here that contrast for these deeper parts. So press and then reduce pressure. Press and reduce pressure. Press and reduce, press, 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 reduce, reduce, so that you have here always some so thicker uh, li wavy lines between. Here is one and here. And here the lines are then going to the left side. I make them here a bit more dense. Draw some strokes over this part. Okay. Then let's go uh, in here with more ochre colors. Let's make this part more yellowish. Let's go in the next with 183, the light yellow ochre and color this gray area a bit more yellowish. So let's go over here with, the, with a gentle pressure and bring in here the yellow ochre. We have to mix in here different colors. So first a layer with ochre. Be careful with your wrinkles. Draw between the, the black lines or also blend over them gently. Also here on the leg. Plot in here a bit of the, the yellow. Here downwards, a thin transparent layer. Just go over it here and mix 
the yellow here in also here I plot in a bit of the yellow ochre and then let's also use the beige red a bit so go also in with 132 and add a layer with the beige red a transparent layer bring it in here between very gently I really don't press just add here a thin layer just add a layer with different colors here bring in a bit of the beige red of this flesh color the gray is shining through a bit also here where we have this this larger parts between the wrinkles plot in here a bit of the beige red too here So here between where the lighter parts are between these wrinkles bringing in a bit of beige red yes but then we we could darken this down in general a little bit more let's take the bista especially here this upper part this part can be really dark I just go over with the bista 179 a dark uh, ochre and darken down the whole part here a bit with a darker layer and also here we can go over with the bister and bring in here an ochre brown layer so build up different layers all the colors you bringing into your portrait here they they show up together, they are uh, shining through the layers because we draw here very thin transparent layers. So also go over here with the bista. You see that the beige red here stays and the yellow is also shining through. So mix all these colors here a bit together and use the pencils also for for blending, for blending the layers together here to going over with the bista blend over the layers here a very thin layer here I draw along the outlines with the bista a bit here it's darker then let's take a a paper stamp and and also blend along the outline here blend this line a little bit together to the right here I have a white stripe from my sketch but at in this case there is a light reflection on the left side so we can draw with the white pencil this light reflection here downwards and also blend it again so that it's not a gritty line go over gently with the paper stamp okay so then we have a nice base layer and can continue to work on all these wrinkles and a cell structure here the skin structure let's bring in here a bit of the yellow the cream 102 uh, i start here in this middle part and let's bring in here some highlights we have here so little waves so, so little yes yeah, so little folds in uh, the skin bring in with the the yellow so little wavy lines or so so little bows here everywhere where we have the darker the darker um, stripes or here some so little wavy lines draw them here upwards here too a lot of wrinkles we have here and so wavy lines let's have a look here we can draw some some so squares again and cells and then they are a little bit longer here draw them around a little bit round following this edge of the belly here 
and then we need here again so long wavy lines and here another one we are then here going together to long or thinner strokes here upwards bringing them here upwards together and here it's the same here we have a lighter stripe and here one create the, make them a little bit curvy here too, so curvy lines downwards. And here some, some brighter little strokes. Make them a bit curvy. Okay, then let's blend over this with the paper stamp a bit. Or just with the finger gently. And then go uh, in between again with the black, bringing darker shadow parts between with a sharp black. Take the black and then go between with a sharp point. And again, bringing in here some, some areas that are darker, that are deeper sh in the shadow here. Darken them down or here a line and here a line and here some thinner lines between the lighter parts here. Here some thinner lines too. Press a little bit more for these deeper, darker, thicker lines and less for the others. This wrinkle can be darker and also here we need some wrinkles that are darker and the rest is really transparent and not so dark. Bringing here some black lines uh, and then blend that. I swipe here over gently with the cotton swab and blend over this area. It can be smoother here. It is so blend this together. It can be really a little bit smoother. What we can do then is also to use the beige red or any other lighter color 132 for example and to, to brighten up these wrinkles a bit when they are too black Okay, so I hope you liked this drawing lesson. It's a part of the entire elephant drawing tutorial in my drawing membership Animal Art Club. Please join the waitlist in the link below in the description. I have developed my drawing school Animal Art Club for you. If you're a beginner and would like to draw realistic animal portraits with pastels, or if you are further along on your animal art journey and if you are advanced and would like to refine your drawing skills, everybody is welcome. I show you in the club step by step how to draw lifelike animal portraits with pastels. Here you can see Animal Art Club. I give you a little insight into the homepage of the club. We have here the content library, a lot of tutorials in there, full animal portraits, focus lessons, background and additional components, live drawing sessions every month where we meet in Zoom, Q&A calls where we meet in Zoom. You can ask your questions there so you have my support uh, all month. And there is the content library with a lot of full animal portraits in there. So entire uh, animal drawing lessons, wildlife like elephant, giraffe, lion, fox, wolf, tiger, different dogs, cats, horses, and also birds. So even if you are starting from scratch, if you're a beginner or if you are advanced, I invite you to join the waitlist. The doors will open soon.